Welcome to my views on news. Three news stories. First one is about an Ethiopian journalist who has been honored with an international award for her uh, videos, documentaries, for her work uh, regarding uh, uh, sexual violence, gender-based violence in Ethiopia. Uh, who is this journalist and what did she do? Did she cover Ethiopia uh, impartially? Uh, from which ethnic group is she? Uh, was she working for a particular ethnic group? Or uh, did she treat all conflicts equally? Uh, secondly, we are, the second new story is from Aksom. Aksom University has issued a statement, alarming statement. The university says nothing is left. Everything has been looted. And thirdly, we're social media ban in Ethiopia. Last month, Ethiopian government banned uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, uh, not Twitter, YouTube, Telegram, Facebook. Uh, is Ethiopia going to restore social media? Or is the government going to continue ban on uh, social media? social media, main sites and platforms. Uh, firstly, viewers, uh, today uh, it was announced that an Ethiopian journalist has been honored with an international award. 11 women uh, have been finalized uh, for this award. Uh, this award is given to those women across the world who work for a better future. Ceremony is held in the U.S. Antony Blinken, U.S. Secretary of State, and Jill Biden, U.S. First Lady, uh, attending the ceremony. Uh, and this award is called uh, International Award. Uh, Annual International Women of Courage Award. 11 women have been chosen from Afghanistan, uh, Central African Republic, Ukraine, uh, Argentina, etc. From Africa, I think two women, one from the Central African Republic and second one from Ethiopia. Miaza Muhammad has been chosen for this award. She is in the US. 48 hours ago, we learned about his uh, departure from Ethiopia. Uh, a viewer shared it here with me. Uh, and she is the recipient of this international award. Her work is being acknowledged that she worked on uh, gender-based violence. She supported victims. She supported to the level of treatment as well. She covered the plight of uh, women, plight of uh, IDPs, and especially mentioned in a documentary made by Miaza Muhammad. She made a documentary about some students, 17 students who went missing in Dembidolo, Valaga. Question is, uh, uh, did Miaza cover uh, gender-based violence, sexual violence in Ethiopia equally? Because we know that Tigray regional government claims that uh, Tigray women suffered gender-based violence, sexual violence was committed in Tigray. Did Miaza cover any case of uh, sexual violence which happened in Tigray? I don't think so. She covered uh, the plight of uh, people in Valaga, mostly Amharas. Though she visited uh, Amhara, she visited a far region too. I think BG as well. And a few days ago, she announced a donation of 50,000 Ethiopian birds for droughted areas of Burana, Oromia. She is seen as anti oromia And she did not cover uh, sexual violence which happened in Tigray. Why? 
was it because she did not have access to Tigray or did she uh, uh, did she think that uh, Amhara issues uh, mattered more? What were the reason is her work was focused on the plight of uh, Amhara women and men who suffered mostly in neighboring uh, regions, mostly in Amhara, uh, mostly in Oromi. That is why she is labeled as pro-Amhara, though she is from Addis Ababa. She is based in Addis Ababa, running a YouTube channel, Roha TV. And uh, we must not forget that she was put in prison thrice. In the last two years, for uh, three times she was thrown in prison. And once she spoke, against the war uh, uh, in Tigray, she said that wasn't people's war. People shouldn't join the war. She was arrested and put in prison. She's critical of Ethiopian federal government, critical of Romanian regional government, critical of PMRB's government. Uh, uh, yes, we can say she did not cover sexual violence which happened in Ethiopia equally. She focused more on the issue, on those issues which are linked to ethnic Amharas. International journalists uh, did not have access to Tigray, but they managed to cover Tigray. We did not have access to Tigray. Still, we got information, we verified through different sources and we shared with you developments in the last two years. But uh, it's an honor for Ethiopia that an Ethiopian uh, woman is being commanded for her work. It's an honor for Ethiopian journalists uh, that uh, if they uh, work uh, for people, if they work to cover issues, the work is uh, honored if not in Ethiopia, at least abroad. We know that Lucy Kasa had to flee Ethiopia last year. She was covering mostly gender-based violence which happened in Tigray. Uh, and uh, she was a uh, victim of harassment by government security officials. She had to flee uh, Ethiopia. Her work is being appreciated abroad, like Miyaza's work is being appreciated abroad. But I uh, would have been happier had Miyaza, Lucy, Kasa would have uh, covered uh, gender-based violence in Ethiopia equally, giving equal importance to all incidents, whether they happen in Tigray, Amhara, or Afar, or Romia regions of Ethiopia. Secondly, viewers, Aksom University has issued a statement from Tigray alarming statement viewers. Uh, administration University says that uh, the university will have to start from the scratch. Nothing is left. Everything has been looted. Starting from machinery to mattresses, from generators to pillows, from windows, doors, to ovens, baking machines, everything has been looted and stolen from the university. No lab, no library, no furniture, nothing is left. Staff without salaries for around two years. They went through psychological trauma, they did not receive salaries, now they have nothing to start with. University is calling for international support, national support as well, that organizations, individuals, institutions should support this university, so that university could restart its work. I think universities in Ethiopia come under uh, Ethiopian federal government. Uh, why is the federal government is not allocating any funds? It's not releasing any funds for universities. If Aksom University has been forced to issue this call for help, it means federal government is not uh, helping the university people. That is why. 
but it just shows if University of Aksum has been looted completely, you can imagine what happened in other parts of Tigray. So, whatever could have been taken along by attackers, they did. They looted. Uh, thirdly, viewers, social media ban in Ethiopia. Last month, Ethiopian government uh, banned uh, social media platforms and sites, Facebook, Telegram, uh, and several other uh, social media sites and apps were banned in Ethiopia. People have been using VPN since then. And uh, so far, government has not uh, shown any positive signs uh, of uh, resumption, restoration of uh, these social media sites and apps in Ethiopia. Uh, though we have seen statements from some international uh, players asking Ethiopian government to lift the ban, we mustn't forget that in Ethiopia, a state media is allowed to operate. There are no private television channels in Ethiopia, only state-owned television channels, uh, on federal level mostly. People were getting information uh, which is impartial through social media, through Facebook, uh, Twitter, Telegram, etc. Social media sites ban, it means people don't have access to impartial, transparent information. Now they are hearing, they are watching whatever is being broadcast by Ethiopian state media. It's definitely a violation of people's right to information, right to know. Uh, but it seems government was sick of it, uh, social media. And if you remember PM Abi and his government officials, they have been uh, criticizing social media, that some social media uh, outlets were spreading false information, spreading rumors. Yes, there could be some individuals, some outlets uh, spreading false information. But uh, it does not mean that entire social media should be banned in Ethiopia. You are denying uh, right to the people of Ethiopia to know the truth. Let's see, will the government restore, uh, will the government lift ban on Facebook, uh, Telegram, other social media sites uh, and, and apps? That depends, we see. Thank you for watching.